Hello everyone, we were discussing about morphology in flowering plants and we have finished the introduction to stem and we had also discussed in the previous video what can be the differences between a stem and a root. If you have not watched the previous video, you can find the link somewhere over here. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about buds. Okay, so in this video, buds. So let's start by defining buds as always. Bud, uh, sorry, uh, a bud is a condensed and underdeveloped shoot. Shoot, compact shoot. Let me use it. Compact shoot having a dome shape. Growing point and don't say growing point and a uh, and it is surrounded by overlapping immature leaves. So you can see that I have written the definition over here, but let me underline some important points or keywords and explain them one by one. First is, it is a condensed structure. So, what do I mean by the word condensed structure? So, if you have ever seen a bud, okay, it grows from anywhere in the stem where there needs to be some growth. So let's say that this is the main stem and here a bud has grown. Okay, this is a bud which has grown. Bud. Okay. And this stem will have some leaves also. To make the diagram complete, let us mention the leaves also. And here the bud has grown. So, what do I mean by the word compressed? The word compressed means when this bud will grow, imagine this bud will grow little by little and it will form a branch over here. This branch will have, may have another branch over here which can have a leaf or it may have a flower over here. Okay, it may have more leaves, it can have a fruit, it can have so many things, although a flower develops into a fruit, so sorry for that. It can have so many things and you can see that it is such a small structure. So the word condensed means many things are tightly packed into a small space, so it is condensed, so many things which are going to develop are packed into that small bud so we can call it a condensed structure right now underdeveloped this is another keyword underdeveloped means it has not developed yet right so when it will develop this we will call it developed if this branch fully grows if leaves grow if flowers grow if necessary and it, then we will call fully developed and for some information there will be a little and there will be so many leaves grown so it will be fully developed but in the bud stage this is not at all developed so it is underdeveloped right then the next word is it is it has a dome shape growing point growing point you know what a dome shape is it is a hemispherical shape so is like this this is a dome shape okay and you can see it is like a dome shape only this is only based on observation it has no scientific reason 
as far as I know, why this can be dome shaped. Okay, but it is observ observed that a bud grows little by little from a dome shape. Very point. Okay, and it is surrounded by overlapping immature leaves. What does this mean? Okay, so let me clear the stuff that I have drawn over there and let me have only the bud. When this will be in the bud stage, some small leaves will be surrounding it from all the sides. Okay, small small leaves will surround it from all the sides. So why these leaves are surrounding the bud? Let us think of it. When it is only a small bud, this bud is not tightly attached to this stem. Right. Then if some wind blows over here or it may this tree may, might shake with the in, in the wind or somebody may shake this tree, this can cause this bud to fall off. So this if this bud fall off, falls off, then the branch will not develop. And to uh, stop this from happening, the tree has uh, given some leaves to it and it, the tree has surrounded the actual bud with some leaves and this leaves does the uh, mentioned function ok so that was our definition of buds and we have analyzed it there now let us talk about the classification of buds right so let me clear this stuff out since I don't have any space right just right now so let me clear this much portion out of the video. Clear it. Then let me talk about the classification of bud. Bud can be classified in into three types based on their nature. So what do I mean by nature? Let's check it out. So let's draw three lines and give them the arrowheads. Okay, the three types are vegetative birds, there can be the floral birds. There can be the floral birds and there can be the mixed birds. Mixed birds. And this classification is on the basis of the based on nature. Nature of the birds. Okay, based on nature of the birds, we can classify birds into the following three categories. So let us understand what these three categories mean one by one. So vegetative bird means for understanding vegetative bird we need to understand what vegetative structures mean. So vegetative structures are the structures that are not responsible for reproduction. Okay, we, as you know that the flower is a reproductive part of the plant and this uh, flower contains pollen grains which are uh, thrown away by the air or taken uh, in the uh, legs of the insect and then when the insects or uh, birds uh, or the pollen grains reach some other flower and it sticks to the ovary of the flower this flower can get fertilized or and the fruit will form but uh, this fertilization or this reproduction process is done by the flowers but vegetative vegetative parts are those parts which do not do reproduction. So let me give you some examples. Vegetative parts, vegetative parts, vegetative A -A parts are those parts, parts which do not involve in reproduction.
for example leaves okay so i have given a leaves so let me write for example for example leaves are structures have you ever seen that the plant is getting a big plant is reproducing through leaves yes there can be possibility that leaves are acting as a uh, reproductive structure but that are exceptional cases but generally speaking leaves do not act as reproductive uh, reproductive structures so vegetative bud and once we know that vegetative parts are those parts which do not involve in reproduction so we can say what vegetative buds are so let us define what vegetative buds are there you can say that vegetative buds are hence the buds which develop into vegetative structures vegetative structures so if we say that here is a bud here is a stem and this stem has grown a bud and this bud has grown into another branch and this branch has many leaves to it okay this branch has a bunch of leaves in it we will call this bud in from which this branch has developed a vegetative bud so i hope the idea is clear now <coughs> sorry now let us talk about the floral buds now since we have talked about vegetative buds you might have guessed something about the floral buds so what are the what is the meaning of the word floral floral means it is related to flowers so and flowers are the reproductive parts of the plant as i have told so the the floral buds are opposite to that of the vegetative buds floral buds are, um, develop into flowers so the buds which develop into flowers are called floral buds okay so you may have seen floral buds right you, you may have seen that if there is a plant okay and some underdeveloped structure has grown and it is covered by sepals have seen such a structure normally it is seen in our locality so and this structure normally when it when it blooms out we see the flower and this as i have told in the definition of the buds it is surrounded by immature leaves and you can see in the floral bud clearly that they are surrounded by sepals and the sepals are the basically the immature leaves that surround the floral floral bud vegetative buds are surround, also surrounded by immature leaves so i hope that the that you have understood what a floral bud is a bud which develops into a flower is called a floral bud and the buds which develop into leaves okay it creates branches leaves both they, they are called the vegetative buds now let's talk about mixed buds so mixed buds are a mixture of vegetative and floral buds so if there is a plant and it has grown a bud see the dome shaped bud it develops into a branch okay afterwards and this branch contains vegetative parts such as leaves okay this branch contains leaves and this branch also contains flowers let us make the colors good so that is like the video over here it can contain flowers of variety of colors okay so these type of buds 
are called the uh, mixed verbs okay so if we consider this verb right over here it has developed the branch which had both leaves flowers all so it cannot be classified solely into a plural verb it cannot be classified solely into a vegetative verb so we call it a mixed verb and most of the time you will find mixed verbs only in the plants and plural verb you will also see but vegetative verbs also are there and that was the classification of birds based on nature we can also classify birds based on position and their uh, function uh, they, how much they are active or dormant or how, how they are covered and all those things we will talk in the next video for, for now bye thank you